For some reason, I decided to challenge Kevin Powell, who's literally the king of CSS, to a CSS battle. Am I going to lose? Probably. But is it going to be fun? You betcha. The rules are pretty simple. All we're going to do is try to complete the CSS battle that we're given in 10 minutes or less. The very first person to complete it 100% wins, and if we both run out of time, whoever's the closest to 100% at the end of the time is the winner. Just in case you don't know me, my name is Kevin, and I'm really looking forward to this. Kyle challenged me to this uh, CSS battle, and I'm really looking forward to it. I really enjoy CSS, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I, I feel like Kyle has nothing to lose on this. You know, He's like, oh, Kevin knows what he's doing with CSS. So if he wins, I just look silly. But if he loses, you know, he's just like, oh, Kevin, Kevin's the king of CSS. Of course I was going to lose. So I'm a little bit nervous about this, but hopefully hopefully it goes well. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I, I crush him, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, start the timer and let's go. This one I think will be not too bad. Uh, for it, we need three divs and each one of those will be a triangle. So I think for all of them, and we want them all to be the same, and I'm gonna leave the let's, these comments. Let's get rid of the comments. I'm not worried about the scoring. Um, I'm gonna leave the background there, but we're gonna set the width to zero pixels and the height to zero pixels. And I think you can actually cheat here um, in this and actually just make it zero and it still works. Um, and let's do a border. I have to remember how to do an up arrow. Uh, border left, we're gonna do, is it, man, Okay, let's just try 100 pixels, solid, transparent. Is it like this? Ugh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna screw this up. Border right, and then border, I think the bottom is gonna point up. Um, solid, red. Ah, I did get it right. Awesome, awesome, super. Okay, I don't use this trick too often <laughs> and I always forget how it works. So we don't want the background. It's all based on the border color. To create a triangle in CSS the easy way, we're gonna be using borders for that. It kind of sounds really weird, but I'll just show you. Essentially, we have a border. We want it to be pretty big, essentially as big as we want our thing to be. So we'll say like 50 pixels uh, solid and we want it to be transparent, which is gonna sound really weird, but we just take one of the sides and give it a color. So border, we'll say left, and we'll give it the color of this, for example. We want this to be the border left color. So now you can see we have these triangles. Obviously, I don't want the left one to be this color. I want the bottom one. That should give us a triangle facing upward. So the border will give it a... Also, we don't want this to have any width. So we can say width of zero, height of zero. There we go. Cool. So that is that, except we need it to be a bit wider. And to do the width... Is it here that I can do that? 150? That made it taller. It's these ones, 125? Maybe we'd do it instead. Uh, and they need to be the same. That looks pretty close actually. So I'm happy with that. Okay, definitely the size of our triangle is way off. We need our triangle to be uh, less big. So we'll do 100 and 100 pixels. And we'll change this to like negative 71, 51. Okay, I see part of our problem. Our triangle needs to actually be wider than, oh, this is kind of a pain. Our triangle needs to be wider than it is tall. I have to think about how to do that. I have gone the wrong direction with creating this. Yeah, I would, to get them in the middle, I guess we, what we could do here is we get to say that it's position absolute, absolute, uh, top 50%, left of 50%. And then we could do the transform, transform, translate, negative 50%, negative 50% to get them right in the middle. Uh, the only problem with that, oh, they're stacked the wrong way. Darn. Okay, well, we can play. That's fine. Um, translate. So that's that. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. And then we're just going to go, we're just going to use the cascade and keep doing it this way. Um, so this one, the, my first one needs, the one that needs to go up, <laughs> negative 40%. Whoops, 40 is this one. 30 maybe. 20. That one needs to go up. We want uh, 60 then, bigger. Negative 70. Oh, negative 100. Okay, and then this one I guess would be a positive 100. 
No, zero. No, <laughs> negative 20, negative 10. 20 was, zero is two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I was eyeballing it on the side. That's perfect. Ah, uh, this is just not not at all correct. I feel like I should have just gone with uh, boxes on their sides, then cut them off. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. Okay, I pretty much had to scrap this entire plan. Unfortunately, this is this was wrong. I got four minutes left to figure this out. So instead of doing all of this junk, oh no God. No, God, please, no, no! I just need to switch the ordering of them. Um, now, I would normally just actually fix this a different way, <laughs> but we're just gonna z-index this because it's gonna be faster than doing it how, um, you know, the, I think the right way to do it would be to just switch the order they are in the DOM um, and how I'm styling it here. But this one will be 100, and then my last of type will be a z-index of negative 100. And there we go. That looks perfect to me. Let's hit submit. Come on, come on, come on. 100% match. Done. Awesome. That one wasn't too bad at all. Cool. <laughs> Happy with that. How much time did I have left? Five minutes left. Yes. <laughs> cool. That one was good. Kevin's going to destroy me on this one. I'm like at a loss of what I need to do for this for some reason. It's probably really obvious. Idiot. And for some reason, I can't think of the correct technique. Because the, the triangles I was originally going, these are not, uh, what is their correct word? They're not like 45 degree triangles. So they're just not going to line up properly. <laughs> Let's just back this up a little bit and see where I had my triangles. Maybe we can just try to get close and maybe we'll be closer than Kevin was. <laughs> okay, we'll submit. It's definitely not correct. But maybe I'll get like 50% accurate. All right, 89.7%. That's pretty good. I got 20 seconds left. Let's see if we can get it slightly closer. Um, <laughs> maybe make this 120. Let's see if that's closer than 89.7. Oh, that's definitely not closer. What am I thinking? We'll, we'll keep it with what we had before. We only got nine seconds. All right, we'll just hope that Kevin somehow didn't get this one complete and he somehow got less than 89.7. I'm highly doubting it because Kevin's really good at CSS, but we'll see. We have to do this circle thing over here, essentially. So I know I need an inner circle, an outer circle, and then just some lines that go through it. So we're going to have two divs. This is going to be our outer circle. And this one is our inner circle. And of course, my OCD is kicking in. We have to style that a little bit better. So we're going to have a, what is it, our inner circle, outer background is going to be this mustardy ugly looking color and border radius 50 percent wait i think it's 200 pixels width is 200 pixels there we go and we need to center this so we're just going to use our body i wonder if i can even do this position absolute and if i want to say like top 100 pixels oh i can do that okay so we'll say top 50 pixels left 100 pixels, uh, 75 pixels, that looks dead center. No. <laughs> uh, looks like our square is maybe not 200 by 200. No, it looks like it's just off. So our top should be like 30 pixels. Maybe we have to get rid of margin, margin zero. And then do top 50 pixels. There we go. And our left should be uh, 90 pixels. Nope. 100 pixels oh yeah there we go that's definitely perfect so we want the parent or we can do i guess the background first because that makes sense body 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 uh background is that good um and then let's just try with 100 percent height 100 percent uh, and then a display display grid Place, I don't know if this is gonna work. Place items center should work. Oh, it did. See, it didn't work before, and the height 100% seems to be working. Um, so I'm hoping that stays true. Cool. Okay, that that's. I wonder why it didn't work when I used the the place item center last time. 
And so let's make this 200 by 200. Looks a little bit too big. Um, but we'll do the border radius. Border radius 50, 40, not 40, 50%. The placement's off. I think the size is good, it's just too low. Um, I could fix it another way, but transform, translate y negative 10 pixels. This is where I guess maybe the margins would work a little better with my uh, like negative nine. Oh man, I'm gonna be slightly off on this, aren't I? Is my shape, my shape isn't good. It's not a perfect circle. There's just more of an oval. Okay, so now we're going to do our inner circle, which is technically bigger than the outer circle. I probably should have named these better. Got this yellow color. Width, we'll say 250 pixels. Height, 250 pixels. Border, radius, 50%. And for all the divs, down here, we're going to say position absolute. That way they overlap each other. Um, okay, interesting. We need to put this. I guess I just don't want to bother with my styling here. We're going to put our top and left directly on our outer, and this one's going to have its own top and left, but this time it's going to be like 25 and 75. That line the orange up correctly, that looks be dead on. So now we just need to put it behind. You just copy this line, put it up here, that gives it behind. And now we need our lines. So we're just going to create a div with a class of line. There we go. Close that off. And then inside of here, dot line, we want this to have 100% width. Our height is going to be maybe 50 pixels. Background is going to be this background, which is the same as our body. So let's just put that up there. Perfect. Perfect. And um, let's see, what else do we need to do? Let's say top is going to be 100 pixels. Width is 100%. And uh, to make it so we can see this, I'm just going to change this to red temporarily. Of course, I don't see it anywhere. So maybe we change our width to 100 view width. There we go, that'll show up. Okay. And we can put it back to this correct color. And it looks like that's way too big. We'll try 25 pixels. That looks better. And we'll start with a height of 50. Nope. We'll do 75. Does that look lined up? That looks lined up on the bottom, but it's a little bit too big. So maybe it's only got to be 20 pixels tall. And then if we move it down 80, there we go, that looks exactly like where we want it to be. So we just need a bunch of these lines. Now the fun part is we need a whole bunch of inner pieces. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so what we're gonna, whoops. What we're gonna try and do first is the yellow ones and then, oh crap. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're gonna have, uh, okay, I should have given this a class from the beginning. Class equals circle, circle. Um, I don't know, about 10 minutes on this one. <laughs> um, then we're gonna have a, I have a big problem here that's, how am I gonna do that? Oh man, I don't know. Oh, you know, am I gonna, okay, let's just try. I can make the stripes and I don't know if we're gonna get this done in 10 minutes. So now we got all of our lines. The only thing left to do is we need to hide the uh, green color in the middle here. And we also need to hide our yellow color at the top. So I'm gonna wrap our outer in another div. And we're just gonna call this outer wrap. Just put it inside there. So we're gonna have dot outer wrap overflow hidden. That'll hide it. Perfect. Okay. Um, for now, I don't want to do the hidden though. I'm just gonna leave that blank because I want to just uh, we'll say border one pixel solid black, just so we can see where this thing's at. 
And we're gonna give it a width of say like 150, 180 pixels and a height of 180 pixels. Our top is going to be our top of our outer, 50 plus 20, so we'll do uh, 70 pixels. And our left is 100 pixels. Okay, is that, that's a little bit too far pushed down, so we'll try 50 pixels. Nope, we need to be pushed more actually, so 90 pixels. Not quite 90. Where does 70 put us? Right there, so where does 80 put us? Okay, 80 put us in a good territory. Yeah, I think so. And here we can get rid of our top and our left. We actually need our top to be... Oh, wait, this isn't going to work. Let's just do inner... I can't do Emmet. Div class equals uh, inner box. And then... I'm just going to do it. I need to organize this one a little bit. Uh, so my inner box, I can do it up here. It doesn't matter. Uh, whatever. Um, dot inner box. We'll have my background of this. The height will be like 80%. Um, and a margin. Oh, uh, you know what? No. Uh, position. I'm going to have to do position. Absolute, I think. Position absolute which means on this one i want to have a position of relative to make that the containing block uh height and then a width of 200 percent this doesn't matter so much the width um and then i can do a top actually let's make this 60 maybe 60 and then my top here can be 20 percent these numbers are probably off that's not terrible though uh, so the height maybe is 70, and then this would be a top of 15 then. Everything looks like slightly, slightly off. Look, it's like the whole thing bounces when I'm doing that. Like the top is off by one pixel. <laughs> there we go. That fixed that. So see there, it's good. Oh, I know what I can do. Aha. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to, okay, that's fine. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Let's change the background on this for a second. I want to see it. Uh, boom. Oh, no, this isn't going to work. Okay, never mind. I need this to be really small, actually, because I, I'm going to have two circles, essentially. I want to cut out the top part. So we're going to say the height here is going to be like 50 pixels, and our top is going to be zero, and our left is going to be 100. Nope, not 100. 50. That put us in the right territory. For the most part, yeah, that does. I think. We'll just do 40. There we go. And then what I want to do is I want to remove the top from this and uh, the left from this. We're going to put the left down here. And then I want to say overflow hidden. That will only show us this top section. We get rid of that black border. Now we just have that top section. That's exactly what I wanted. And now I just need to do the exact same thing for the bottom. This is where I wanted my yellow lines to be a single circle. I almost feel like I mucked up and that this shouldn't be one div, that I need one div on the top and one div on the bottom for those instead of two separate ones. Ah, oh, Kevin, you screwed it up. Because I want this to be a big circle. that has things overlapping it, but I have like an overflow of hidden or something. I think I mucked up. Or you know what, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, maybe not yet. I'm, I, don't I don't think I have enough time to fix it though. I don't know if I started my timer. I didn't start my timer. I don't even know how much time I have left. Ah, okay. Let's change my background color to yellow uh, on here. Is yellow the right idea? Yeah, yellow. This guy up here is gonna get a background color. No, that's yellow, yeah. Uh, I know what I wanna do now. Oh, I really mucked it up though. The only final step that we have left is to remove the yellow. So that'll be easy. This we need just one wrapper for. 
equals I W copy this div and we'll say dot I W and we'll say height is 200 pixels width is 200 pixels and overflow hidden top 50 pixels left 50 pixels is that what we used for our inner where's our inner at uh so top and left for these numbers and we'll do 250 250 and we actually want this to be slightly less so we'll do 50 here and height of 225 and here we'll do a bottom of 50 pixels 100 pixels no 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 no. why is this not working oh we need to reduce our height we'll do a height of 200 150 there we go <laughs> this is not quite right our circle is now off a little bit our left should be 50 60 70 What happened? I'm just going to submit it because I'm out of time, but we'll see how far off I am. 98%, we'll take it. Let's just add a border uh, for now. My idea here is then I could do a border of this uh, solid and say like, I don't know, 30 pixels, 32 pixels. Uh, do I need to do a box sizing? Is that even box sizing? Border box. Is that you mean to fix that? Yeah. Um, oh, but that doesn't fix it. See, I wanted that to stick out the top and not. Oh, okay. So width 100 then. This could be at 100 and 100. No. Nope, nope, nope. I mucked this whole thing up big time. This isn't going to work. I'm just waiting for Kyle to tell me when I'm out of time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because my idea was if I set that up with a border there to hide that, maybe without the border box, it would work actually. Um, okay, I'm just going to try one more time because that was closer to what I wanted when I didn't have the box sizing on there. Um, but then it screws up this. So like here I need to do a calc almost, right? Of 80% um, minus, what was it? 32 pixel, I mean, whatever. Um, and then I need the same thing for my height. And it should be a circle at least. Uh, I'm out of time. Not even close. That was a complete, complete, complete disaster. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have to create supposedly what the letter B is. To me, looks like a few circles, but we'll call it the letter B. So let's get the body in place. Always a good place to start because that's like 90% of your code right there. And then for our first div, we're going to give it this background here that we just copied. And I want to make this one a complete circle. So we'll say order radius 50%. And also to make these all centered, I'm just gonna do display flex, justify content center and align items center. There we go. So now we have that in the dead center and I just need to make this quite a bit bigger. I'm guessing like 200 pixels. Let's see. Okay, that looks perfect. That is exactly the size we need. So now what I need is another div. This is gonna be the inner circle. So we'll say class of inner close off that div really wish this had auto closing of tags that'd be nice so now we have dot inner i'm guessing it's going to be a slightly smaller size of course so we'll give it the same background and we're just going to position all these absolute so we'll say position absolute for all of our divs uh okay background is that and we need the width here to be 100 pixels and the height 100 pixels that's my guess on what the size is yep that's the exact size this one looks like super easy and it depresses me because i have no idea what to do <laughs> uh we want my body set the background on there that's you know um, 
Uh, you start with the quick wins. Start with the things that you know how to do. Uh, we want the dollar sign, not a dollar sign, we want a pound. I'm so not used to the pound sign being included in there. Okay, so this is not too bad in that it's easy to get a circle <laughs> and the circle inside a circle. It's this part that's really throwing me for a loop, but we wanna start with the easy wins. So let's just grab this and we'll put that. And actually, I think what I'm gonna do for this one is have a div with a, uh, di can I do Emmet in here? Whoops, 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 E. Apparently not, okay. Oh, that's my emoji picker. What am I pushing? Okay, no. Uh, so let's just do a div and we'll do a div Actually, I'm just going to do a div. We'll just do this. Close div. I might have to give these classes or find a better way to do this eventually, but yeah, we're going to start with it like this. Um, so this one, no, this isn't going to work. Okay, we're going to give this one a class. <laughs> class is equal to uh, outer. So that this can become my outer. And then let's just do a margin. Uh, with height, let's just do a border radius first, I guess. Border radius will be 50%. Um, and then I wanna get it in the middle. It needs to be bigger. I think it's almost like 200, right? That looks maybe a little smaller. Um, I'm just gonna use margin, just margin left, or no, margin like 30 pixels auto. Should maybe do the trick. I think the, the top needs to be a lot bigger, 60. This is the, I have so much trouble getting things in these challenges to like line up. That looks pretty good. Okay. I think that's good. And then I can choose this one. Let's give that a class of, uh, inner. So then my inner can, what can we do with that? That one gets the background color on it again. So we can throw that, you got actually right background, background. And then what do we need to do? We need to give it a width of say, is it like 50% of the parent? And then a height 50%. We could try and see what happens here. Height 50%. Um, and then a margin, or you know what I'm gonna do? This could work. Um, display grid. And then we can do a place items center. That should not, of course it's not working. I didn't, why is that not working? That should work. Okay, it's not working. Uh, border border radius of 50%, 50. Why'd the place item center not work? The, I could do, what if I did a display flex then? Display flex. You know, I just want this on the parent. I just wanna make sure, because then on the inner, then I can just say margin of auto. I just wanna make it easy to get it in the middle. Okay, that worked. Uh, that looks perfect, actually. Super, that was 50%. Now is the part I don't know what to do. That's impossible. So now all we need to do is do this top section up here, which is going to require us to create a square that covers off that section. So we're gonna have that square. This will make a little bit of sense once I get the square in place. So a new div class is equal to square, just like that. And for this square, <clears throat> I'm gonna move a lot of these styles out. None of these styles are applicable to all of our divs. So we're gonna call this big, we'll call it outer. And then we'll give this a class of outer. There we go. And now for our square, we want the background color here. So we'll say background is that. And all we need to do is just move it up so it covers up this top section of our circle. That should be all we need to do, yeah. So let's just say that our top is going to be, or we'll just use margin instead. So we'll say margin top is like negative, uh, what is it, 200 pixels? So we'll move it 50 pixels. Let's see, that didn't do anything. Square, background. Oh, of course, we first need to take our border radius and put it on our inner. Now, for some reason, my square is not showing up. Oh, I don't have a width or height. So we'll say width is 100 pixels. Height is 100 pixels. That should show up now. Of course, it's not. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Margin top negative 50 pixels. We'll just remove that. See if we can get it to show up. Of course, it's not. 
We'll give it a different color to really make it pop green. <laughs> uh, remove the margin. Just with the height, and it's not showing up in a background. And it's got the position absolute. It should be there. It really should be there. I don't know why it's not showing up. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, it's just not there. Square. Oh, I spelled square wrong. Uh, okay, now we can go. That wasted some time. Margin top, negative 50 pixels. Negative 100 pixels. Yep, that's what we need. Margin left, negative 100 pixels. And we'll give it the correct color. And okay, for this part, I'm going to use another div, which I'm going to put inside my inner, I guess. We'll call it uh, div class is equal to inner, inner, because names don't really matter here. <laughs> Close div. Sorry for the really messy HTML, um, but we're, we're on a, a challenge here. So I'm not worrying too much about naming or anything or inner, inner. I could, should have called it like inner bar. Um, we'll do a background of inherit so I don't have to mess around or copy anything. A width is going to be 50% because I want, it looks like it's 50% of its, you know, the width here is like 50% of that circle, right? And then what do I want to do with this 50? And then let's just say the height, it can be anything. 100 pixels should be fine. Um, and then I'm going to do a transform translate y because I want to move it up and down and I should be able to do a negative 100% too much negative 50%. There we go. Now all we need to do is do our line. Let's make sure I spell line correctly this time. L I N E. And we need to have this background. We need to have a height of 100 pixels, a width of 100 pixels, and I think the height actually needs to be 200 pixels. And we're going to copy this margin. Oop, okay, so our width definitely does not need to be that big. It needs to be 50 pixels. And our margin left needs to be 125, 150. And our margin top needs to be 150, 175, 180, 90. We'll just say 200. There we go. And then the height obviously doesn't need to be quite that large. Ooh, that looks perfect. Let's submit that. 91% match. What am I missing? I, I literally can't tell a difference between these images. What the heck? How am I so far off? Am I just crazy? I'm going to try resubmitting that. This, this, I, I cannot see a single difference unless I have like some colors wrong, but the colors look the same. Like when I hover over this, it maybe is like slightly inset from where it needs to be. Oh gosh, that looks close. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna love me. We have an inner inner. I'm gonna copy you. Copy that and inside inner inner, I'm gonna put an inner 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 inter inner, <laughs> uh, which is gonna have this. So inner inner inner. <laughs> this, you know, when you have no time to spend on naming your classes, inner inner inner. <laughs> So let's just start with my background. Uh, I don't need the hashtag. There we go. Um, width is inherit. Height can be inherit, I guess. Inherit. I don't know if this is going to work. Inherit. Okay, so I got my bar. And then I just want to do a transform. Translate x now of negative 10%. 10 pixels. Oh, wait. No, it's way too small. Uh, width is, why is the width? Oh, it's inheriting a 50%, uh, 100% then. We can just do that. Okay. And then this could be negative 100%. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Submit. Come on. Come on. 100% match. Yes. I honestly didn't know how I was going to do that one. <laughs> and my class names are a complete mess. Maybe instead of using Flexbox to center, we'll just try doing uh we're just going to position all of them in the dead center i guess so we'll just wrap this in a container like this and then we'll do section 
position absolute. I can spell position correctly. There we go. We'll say top is 100 pixels. Left is 100 pixels. This should be 50. Absolute, absolute. And now, of course, all of our other measurements are off. So we need to readjust everything to make it in the center. We should be able to do it by just saying, like, oh, this is still going to use Flexbox, though. Justify content center. Align items center. And let's change this to 200. 150. 200. This works. 91.3. Hey, we got slightly closer and it's still wrong. God, this one is killing me because I feel like I'm so close and I know exactly what to do, like the square versus this square versus the inner circle and the outer circle, but I'm just off by something. Something is just slightly different. Like I can see it move slightly, like the inside moves a little bit. Like my inner circle is like one tenth of a pixel off. That makes sense. I'm pretty sure it has to do with using Flexbox because it's like half pixels essentially. So we want this to be 50, 100. Okay, so let's try to position this. This is our outer ring. This is already in the right position. So we need our inner ring to have a top of 50 pixels and a left of 50 pixels. Our square here, we need to give it a top of zero. Actually, we can just remove the margins. I should put it in the right spot. There we go. And this one, we can remove the margins too. If this works, I'm going to be so upset. Oh my gosh. Never again am I going to use Flexbox to center because that like one tenth of a pixel is what killed me. Well, let's hope that Kevin also sucked because there's 20 seconds left, so hopefully he didn't finish. I'm looking forward to seeing how Kyle did. And I think one of the most interesting things with all of this would be seeing how we approach things differently. Um, you know, trying to get the same result, but just completely different approaches to it. I think that'd be fun to see. So looking forward to seeing how Kyle did on this and how he did everything as well. So the results are in and to nobody's surprise, Kevin beat me, but it was quite a bit closer than I expected it to be. And it was a ton of fun. So thank you very much, Kevin, for doing this with me. I hope to do this with other people in the future, especially if you enjoyed the video. So if you did, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you want to check out some of my other CSS related content, click over here. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.